Ladies and gentlemen, the effort to remove Kevin McCarthy is gaining steam. This is Politico. About a couple of hours ago, conservatives surprised McCarthy with floor rebellion over debt, a debt deal anger. A band of House conservatives derailed a bill that, that takes aim at gas stove regulation. It could be just the beginning of moves to undercut the speaker. Um, it's not going to be long until a vote of no confidence is leveled. The proceedings, the no confidence proceedings are leveled at McCarthy. It won't take long. The next misstep or the next topic or legis piece of legislation that does not coincide with the value system of Matt Gates or Marjorie Taylor Greene. Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene likes McCarthy. It's interesting. Trump, Jim Jordan, Marjorie Taylor Greene, they like McCarthy because McCarthy promised impeachment. That's not a big deal. I mean, impeachment's going to take place. There's enough criminality within Hunter's laptop. The If Trump had Hunter's laptop, he would have already been in prison. That's how bad that laptop is. But let's just read this. A band of House conservatives, this is according to Politico, mounted an extraordinary rebellion against their own party leader on Tuesday, venting their angst over recent debt limit with a surprise protest that derailed the chamber floor. Republican leaders spent nearly an hour working to resolve the standoff. Um, and so you have a growing movement against McCarthy. So this was... It's interesting because they, they're they not they're just about ready to begin the no-confidence proceedings to remove him. Not yet, though. Okay, the move was entirely unexpected by senior Republicans, and some GOP lawmakers feared it might just be the beginning of a conservative drive to undercut uh, Speaker Kevin McCarthy's team. Um, unless McCarthy keeps his promise he made in order to win the House top gavel in January. So, there you go. So, one frustrated conservative representative, Dan Bishop, told reporters that, quote, there's no decision made yet by McCarthy's critics on the right on whether to force a vote ousting the speaker. No decision yet, but they're right about to do so. So, it's actually it would actually be a very good thing if they began proceedings. They're right about to. There hasn't been a vote yet. I don't think because there there hasn't been a replacement. There's nobody who will challenge him. Now, or there's nobody yet who will... There, no, there's a number of people who challenged him in December and January. So there are a number of people who already challenged him. The issue here is get impeachment going and stop just caving to the Democratic Party... Just because you have the House of Representatives, you might not have 30 or 40 um, member advantage. That doesn't mean that you need to cave all the time. You can't have more Democrats voting for things than Republicans, and that was, that's what took place. More Democrats voted for the debt uh, ceiling bill. And, and here's, the, here's the issue with the debt. You didn't have to risk a default to just wait until the last second. Okay, the way Democrats are, they walk in lockstep almost always. Almost always. And I, th I believe you had AOC and Bernie Sanders, but if they were told to by Pelosi, they would have done whatever Pelosi wanted. So they might not have voted for the deal because they wanted to spend even more money, you know, addressing... What they do is they ruin the economy. So we have record low... We had record low poverty with Trump. Trump, 2019... Record highs in household median income, record low poverty. Biden, 2023, uh, poverty rate is higher in this country. Real wages are down because inflation is through the roof. And it's not just 5%. Okay? Inflation for food, rent, energy is far greater than 5%. Okay? If you, if you have an electric bill in a blue state, or even it's somewhere like Texas, it's a lot. Is your electric bill... Higher? Is your gas bill higher? When you go to the supermarket under Biden, in Biden's America, is it more expensive? You tell me. I'm not, I'm not making anything up. Life was better under Trump in terms of the economy and in terms of foreign policy. Okay, we didn't have a devastating catastrophe in Europe. So you tell me. 
aside from the media meltdown, I mean, the, you read The Atlantic and you read like um, Rolling Stone or you read uh, The Washington Post or New York Times, it's like, everything's fine and perfect and Trump was a, a maniac, but we had record highs in household median income. We had a record low in poverty. Poverty has increased substantially. And so, what was what is wrong with lower poverty, a record low in poverty? What what is wrong with a with a president and Trump who wanted to bring home Americans from never ending military conflict? There was at least two theaters of conflict Trump brought Americans home from, or set. I mean, the Doha Agreement that was negotiated by Trump, reluctantly addressed by Biden in the most you know incompetent manner. Those thirteen Americans should be alive today. There's over one hundred Afghans should be alive today. Well, that's Biden's mi- first misstep. But it's like, it's, it's unbelievable. So you have a situation where they're slowly going to remove, they're slowly, they're slowly working to remove Biden. I mean, uh, McCarthy. There's another article. Conservatives surprised McCarthy with floor rebellion over uh, debt deal anger. It's the same, same article. <laughs> oh, here, P- McCarthy. Politico, this is a couple of days. McCarthy tries to hold off last-minute rebellion. And so, overwork requirements and debt deal. One of the deal's most visible critics, Representative Chip Roy, uh, blasted the bill's watered-down work requirements that saved zero dollars. So, here you go. And so, you have a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where McCarthy does not use his leverage. Okay? The reason, again, the reason that Trump backed him is because impeachment's around the corner. And they, they, they will definitely impeach Biden, okay? You would need two-thirds of the Senate to remove him, but you only need a majority in the House of Representatives, okay? And you'll get that majority, you'll get that majority to impeach Biden, especially with the Federal Bureau of Investigation um, letter, the informant that came out, and you, you, you're going to get all of that, hundreds of millions of dollars in possible graft and bribery, according to the New York Post. If there's a, if there's a highly educated, morally superior, wonderful liberal Democrat who says, no, you can't prove anything. Well, well, read the New York Post. Read the reporting that was actually censored by Twitter. See, the truth, the truth in this day and age, especially about the Democratic Party, is censored. Okay? It's called information that misinforms. As opposed to blatant lies and lies by omission and fabricated allegations leveled by people like Adam Schiff and others towards Trump. That's apparently not information that misinforms. Because, of course, you had all the reasons in the world to distrust Trump. So this is a battle for emotion. And it's a twisted American politics has descended because Democrats and media are on the same side into a twisted attempt at justifying and defending the indefensible. You can't accuse an incoming president of working with another country and then say that he's the menace. Sorry, doesn't work that way. You recreate a new Cold War, you plunge the country into a McCarthy-era red scare, mania and hysteria, and then you blame the person who's innocent? You don't have to like Trump, but you can't accuse an innocent man of something he didn't do for seven years. Then you get Democrats in New York and other places going after him. Then you have a second special counsel because your first special counsel couldn't find anything. So he's going to get indicted, Trump, for classified data, which will be the height of lunacy. Because, (laughs) I mean, Clinton, it'll be funny because the rebuttal will be like, oh, Clinton wasn't indicted, but Trump was. Like, yeah, that's another reason American politics uh, is completely dysfunctional. He'll be indicted for obstruction, which is going to be hilarious because Clinton actually destroyed computer hardware and deleted everything and then gave it to the government. But um, hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen, to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Shalom, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. My new Patreons, thank you. The members of this channel, thank you. And uh, super thanks. Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the no-confidence proceedings against McCarthy will eventually take place. 
it's going to be very, very interesting. It'll probably expedite impeachment. Give me your th